Hey guys, happy December. Can you believe we are already at the end of the year? I hope you all had a year full of growth and learning and are feeling optimistic about the year ahead. And December is going to be a month about having extreme passion and knowing where to focus that fire so you don't end up getting burned. This month will be the engine that accelerates you forward into the new year with a lot of passion, drive, optimism, and energy. So be prepared as this will be an important time to set your intentions for 2019. And here are some of the key dates to be aware of. When it comes to love, this month will be an intense one. First reason being is on December 2nd, Venus will enter Scorpio and it's going to remain there until January 7th, 2019. And with a little help from Mars and Aries later this month, prepare yourself for some intense emotions during this time, okay? You're going to start to crave your partner more. You're going to feel a deeper sense of passion um, with the person you're interested in or someone you're seeing right now. And this placement is also going to bring up feelings of infatuation as well as a strong urge to possess what it is you desire most in love. The second important dates are going to be December 1st through the 12th and the planet Mercury will be in Scorpio during this time and then on the 12th it will enter Sagittarius and stay there till the 11th of January. And Mercury is the planet of ideas and communications and that will really be influenced by the zodiac energy that it enters this month and Sagittarius is all about action. And Scorpio is all about intensity and delving into the unknown. So you're going to want to use this time to really think before you speak or you might end up saying something that you'll regret later. So be very mindful of that during this time. The next important date is December 7th and this is the new moon in Sagittarius and this is the perfect time to set our sights on something big that we want to accomplish. Um, Sagittarius is all about having a very impulsive, optimistic and adventurous nature towards life and with Jupiter as its ruling planet, the bigger the goal, the better and Jupiter is like a magnifying glass so it's really going to encourage us to set the bar really high and to think really big. But there are some shadow aspects to the side of Sagittarius that you want to be aware of. And that includes being too impulsive during this time, feelings of restlessness, overindulging, and combativeness, especially when it comes towards criticism. The next important date will be on December 22nd, and that is the full moon in Cancer. And this full moon will open us up to change in our lives and this will be a time about excitement and pleasant surprises. So follow your intuition and be more open-minded about any unexpected opportunity that arises during this time of the month. And finally, we close out the month on December 31st when Mars will be in Aries and will remain in Aries until February 14th, 2019. So... During this time, you're going to feel a very strong urge to assert yourself more. Um, there will be this incessant drive for action and accomplishment. So it really complements the Sagittarius energy that you'll be feeling towards the beginning of the month. But just be mindful of some of the shadow aspects of the sign of Aries, which includes being impatient, quick tempered or being a little too aggressive okay so that is going to be the forecast for the month of december and now let's get into your reading oh, well, welcome to your december 2018 general reading so this reading is going to be for the zodiac sign of aries sun moon and rising if you don't know your moon and your rising sign there's a calculator in my description you can put your birthday in there and get that information and check those videos to see if they better resonate, okay? So Aries, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to shuffle and I'll fast forward that part and then we'll come back and do the reading together, okay? All right, Aries, let's get into it. So the overall theme for the month of December for you, oh, Aries is the five of cups. Are you guys dealing with the Sagittarius? They were having some like 
deep emotions this this time so i feel like aries a lot of you are like sad about something um usually people get sad around the holidays but we'll find out exactly what it is but i feel like you guys are mourning over something or you're really like feeling down about something so we're gonna find out what that is now the challenge yeah you see is the sun is happiness being happy or gaining some kind of clarity right now um, the driving force behind all this is the hangman. So I feel like you feel very stuck. You're not able to move out of this energy for some reason. And I feel like you want to, Aries, because you're coming up into a new year. Um, you know, usually you're more excited. And, and right now I feel like you're really down because you feel like you can't get out of this energy of being disappointed or sad about something. So we'll find out. It'll be different for every Aries, but that's the general the general energy for the month of December. Now, how the situation is going to progress is justice, which is good. So if you're worried about something or you feel like you're not able to progress or um, you're sad about something, you're going to get some sort of victory. Okay, so this is going to progress in a good way. You will get justice. So if someone has hurt you and you've been unable to move on, I feel like you're going to get justice and we'll find out what that justice is, but you will be vindicated this month. So that's good news. Now, what's on your mind is the king of swords in reverse. So I feel like somebody hurt you. You know, this to me, this card is like the liar card. Like somebody was lying to you or someone was mistreating you, like verbally abusing you or talking bad about you, gossiping about you. Um, it could very well be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, specifically a Libra. Um, but there's someone that you're thinking about who... You haven't been able to get off your mind. You're really sad about it. You haven't been able to, to get back in a happy place, but you will. You will get that justice, okay? Now, your subconscious, yeah, is the nine of swords in reverse. So you really want to get, you want to stop thinking about this person pretty much. This person hurt you. Whatever happened has already been done, and you really want to move forward. You want to be happy. You want you know, things to go in your favor or you want to be like vindicated for some reason. And this energy could be vice versa, but I feel like it's more your energy. Now we'll find out right now because let's move all this. Your overall energy in the month of December huh, is the five of wands. So you are definitely either arguing with someone, you're in a battle with someone. A lot of you Aries could be dealing with like a court case. But you are getting in some type of conflict with somebody or you are in conflict with someone right now. Your environment is death, okay? Which is good because this is saying that whatever energy you were stuck in before, by the way, you have one, two, three, four major arcana, whatever energy that kept you stuck and unable to progress and move out of sadness and unhappiness, that's going to clear up your environment. You, you know, you're coming into a new year now. You're about to say goodbye to the old. This is like ushering in a clean slate. And I feel like in your environment, something is ending. Okay, but it's for the best. It will go in your favor here with the justice card. Overall outcome. Nice. Another major arcana. So this is a major time for you, Aries. Like whatever you were having trouble letting go of in 2018, prepare for that to, to wash away, to go away. Okay have the hair fin here which talks about you gaining some sort of like knowledge some sort of like spiritual information feel i feel like you're looking for for guidance or maybe you could be talking to someone for for, for guidance but we're going to clarify that okay the four of cups in reverse so no longer feeling you know unhappy no longer feeling stuck so that's the good news you're starting off you could have been dealing with this for a while but you're starting off the month still in that same energy but then that's going to progress and move into something way better so let's clarify and see let's see why what are we sulking over here i'm saying a person but for everyone it could be different what is the five of cups representing here for aries in the month of december the high priestess so this is something that you are like holding on to another major arcana by the way this is like deep like a deep sadness. I feel like you keep it to yourself. And it's something that you don't share with other people. What else can you tell me about? You could have also found out some type of hidden information. Yeah, you see with that four of cups again, now in the upright. So from the five to the four. So I feel like you found out some information or you got some news about something and you're sad about it. It's, it's, 
you either found out someone was lying or gossiping about you or you found out information that, you know, made you very unhappy. All right. But let's see what this justice is because this is a good sign here. So what is justice talking about for Aries? What is this justice that Aries is getting in the month of December? Ooh, the tower in reverse. So there's not going to be a disaster here. You're going to come out the victor. Like, I feel like you're avoiding some type of disaster. So if you were dealing with someone and they were talking shit about you or you found out some information that you didn't know, it's all for the best. Like, you're avoiding a big catastrophe. You're going to get justice because I feel like this person either was bad-mouthing you or they could have caused some type of, you know... Um, they could have caused some type of damage to your reputation, to, to your relationship, whatever the case may be. Like you're avoiding a very serious shock and disaster here and you're getting your justice. Or this is talking about justice after finding out something very shocking. So I feel like you're, you've, you've gotten a lot of revelations here. You got news, you know your answers and the, the energy in your environment here, I feel like you have a lot of spiritual guidance because it's trying to usher you out of this energy it's not like Aries to be very stuck on something so this is telling you because it kind of it's, it's universe's way of pushing you and telling you okay let's let's move on from that this was was a good thing that happened for you um whoever hurt you or lied to you they're definitely going to get their karma for doing that to you okay what else can you tell me about this justice? Lots of cards flipping. Let's get some cards to come out. What else can you tell me about this justice for Aries? The three of wands. So you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving forward. You're going to leave this shit in the past and you're going to move forward to something much better. Let's see. What are we moving forward to? Aries. What does the depth card represent for Aries in their environment? So this is your immediate environment. This is the energy in your environment. See? Movement. Moving forward, moving to a better place. And the outcome is the hair fit. Why the hair fit? Please clarify the hair fit for me. Why is the hair fit the outcome? Haha. <laughs> there goes that king of swords again. Hmm. All right, so this is what's on your mind. So I feel like you weren't getting truth or clarity. You will get that. You're going to get the information that you need. You're going to feel as if you have all the answers um, that you need to move on. You know, some people can't move on because they don't have that closure. They don't get the answers that they need, but you're going to get that in the end. Or there's going to be some type of justice towards this. You see? Perfect. Oh my God. I love when the cards like repeat like this. See, now you're coming from this energy to this energy. So you will recover, Aries. You will recover. You will bounce back. Mars is going to be in your sign towards the end of the month, if I'm not mistaken. And you're going to be in your element. Like that's exactly when this is, as I say that, you got the new moon. Once around that new moon or that full moon in Cancer towards the end of the month is when you're going to start to feel the energy shift. You're going to feel much better. Aw. You're going to feel like you're going to have a new start. Okay, so if someone has hurt you, if someone has made you feel stuck, feel like you can't love again, you can't trust again, that's going to change. You're going to heal, Aries. So this is good news for you. All right, if you're dealing with anything from 2018 or something that you've just been stuck on, that's going away. That's going bye-bye. New year, new you, right? So let's get some advice. We're going to use uh, the Wisdom of the Golden Path Oracle deck. And this is going to be the overall message for you, Aries, in the month of December. So this is what universe wants you to know. So these are like some encouraging words and things that universe feels they need to bring to your attention for the month of December. All right. <laughs> what I told you. This reading is the best. It's like flowing so naturally. Positive future. Exactly what I said. Your future is looking brighter. Things are going to get better in the future. And you have the positive future card. This is what universe wants you to know. Let's read it. It says, your present situation is determined by your past actions. To change your future requires you to make different decisions today. Live life as though every moment is a miracle. And remember that if one door closes, another opens. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. 
Follow your heart and intuition and know that everything in your life unfolds at the best possible time and in the most beneficial way. And it says, put your ideas into action, for they have the ability to manifest endless blessings. Everything around you is made up of energy. So if you want to attract positive things into your life, start by giving off some positive energy. All right. So you have a positive future ahead of you. Like, I don't know about the message that book gave, but <laughs> if it's coming from me, the energy I'm getting is that you're going through a rough time. You've been dealing with this for a while. You found out some information that hurt you, shocked you. You're not happy about it, but you're going to get your justice. You will, things will get better for you in the future. All right, Aries. So yay. Good news. So have a great December, Aries. And um, I will see you guys in January. Take care.